Hey all friends and uh, morning, welcome to the channel, uh, Bob here, and this is, I guess this is, this is my third session, um, it's quite good in my sessions, because it kind of shows you how, just kind of, each session that I do is probably four, three, four, five hours or so, pending, so this is my, this is my third session, um, and we're in South Row, um, and I'd like to thank... Uh, let's just kill this first. There we go. Okay, let's just plonk that there for a sec. I'd like to thank, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this time, rather than being lazy. Um, I've got some people to thank. Let's have a look, just for general information. Um, I've had so many comments though recently. I've, uh, which is brilliant. Thank you very much. So I'm just. Uh, I'm not quite sure where to start. <laughs> um, oh, for God's sake. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Let's see what we've got here. First of all, Kaz. Uh, I'm sure I've got it the right way around, but Kaz, get your wife to look at some ogre lore. That's, that's, that's all I've got to say. It's... Uh, Quite brutal, but quite sad at the same time. I personally find it when I look. Whenever I look at my little ogre's little dumb little face, I think to myself, ah, "It must have must have been another way." But anyway, it's uh, yeah. Read read some ogre lore. It's really really uh, it's really good. Um, Cam, I think oh Cam, yes, yeah, so I spoke to Cam in game, um, and he pointed me to this section here where there are some tree snakes, uh, which I'm level almost level seven. Um, I think I'm one more away from level seven. All oh, oh, darkweed snake. Okay, no, that's not for us. Uh, yeah, some tree snakes here. At level six, level seven, they're all blue, which is good. Um, so thank you for that. I kind of, I mean, obviously I've been through here so many times before. Um, and let's pull him over to the side. Yeah, mostly for the orc camps, though. I remember the first time I ever used a fungi tunic, I came here and just caused absolute havoc at the, the orc camps and then he never recovered from it emotionally i don't think um yeah so thank you for thank you for that i think i'll, I'll probably be here to at least eight um my goal today is to try and get um i think we'll probably ding off of this one my goal today is to, is to obviously try and get meditate that should that's an easy goal um i would like to try and get to nine to get some some spirit of wolf there's level seven but I don't quite know um, how realistic that's going to be. Probably not too realistic, I would say. Um, I think that's just, uh, yeah. Might be a stretch too far. I've got two levels to go. A few hours play ahead of me. Probably not. But I think level 8 is doable. Um, and I'll just be glad to get Meditate then. That should hopefully speed up level 8 to level 9. Where we'll get um, we'll get Spirit of Wolf. So just a couple of other points to pick up on, I think, from the previous video about the, the community. I mean, I you know, I, I'm... I, I've had, I've come across the odd bad experiences, experience as well with regards to um, the P99 community. But for, for me personally, they have been very few and far between. Um, I also do completely agree with with the two or three people that said that from a P99 community point of view, you know, they didn't really experience any problems up until the point they started raiding. And then that's where everyone obviously turns to a bit of an umpty. And I say everyone, you know, for some people it affects them a certain way you know those this this little pixel here um this collection of pixels it just does something to them and they can't yeah and they just can't help themselves and they become a different person it's a bit like driving i guess you know when you see people um really angry from driving and stuff so yeah that's um that that certainly I agree with that. That's something that I've kind of experienced as well. Uh, my, my my experience is of raiding on blue is very very limited, so I never came across those problems. But uh, but yeah, I can certainly understand exactly what what people are saying. Um, overall, though, I'm having a great time. Um, it's really nice also to catch catch up with some people, uh, catch up with people who like I may not have spoken to before. Um, Ah, okay. So what's quite interesting as well? It's quite interesting to watch out when you get to when you get to a certain level. Blues, um, blues will give different um, 
a different con. So it looks kind of risky, but you might win. Um, you get like, looks kind of dangerous. I think there's another one as well. And that's how you can start to tell how close to your level um, mobs are. So it's worth looking out for that. I think this one might be the lowest one. And I think you end up getting looks kind of dangerous maybe a bit later, which is probably one that's closer to your level. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's great catching up with people who, just people just saying hello, basically, you know, who I haven't spoken to before. Um, yeah. But we've caught each other online just purely because it's a new server and people have taken some time off. I mean, normally I play off-peak. And, um, and I always get comments from people in-game well, I've had a lot of comments over the last few days from people in games, so I'm glad I caught you, you know. Um, so that's that's been really good. Um, I, do, I probably shouldn't use a nuke for that, but there you go. Um, and I did also get a question about windows and stuff, like this chat window. Um, I think someone may have answered them, but just I'll just let you, I'll just tell you how I do it. Uh, just create it. You, you create a new chat window. Right click, new chat window. Um, then you go to filters, you go to melee, and you do you put your hits and misses in the box. Um, then go hit modes all number only, and what that will basically do is can I close that window? I've created a new chat window. Yeah, that will basically then give you your hits and misses in a box, and you'll only see the numbers essentially. And you can do that for everything actually. You can do it for pets, I think. I'm not sure about in classic. <laughs> um, but you can do it for mobs, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I often quite like to have a separate window for my skill gains. Um, I did kind of say to myself that I wasn't going to create more than one chat window. Um, I was going to try and play as classic as possible. But I can't remember if you could create extra ones on originally. I don't think you could. I think the problem is, though, is that you miss tells and stuff and you miss stuff. And I guess we just kind of got used to some creature comforts that, that Classic didn't have. So, yeah, it's uh, just one of those things. I think it'll be a bit, bit more efficient and uh, try and kill this one with my staff. Another another little uh, little ogre there just doing some, doing some work on the snakes, which is good to see. Um, the other thing as well, just a, a quick point that I may... It's funny, it's, it's funny how... It's funny. Life in general is weird, you know. When I was, when I kind of had that carrot, that uh, the player come and, you know, I, I steal my camp's a harsh term. I think I don't think I really stole my camp, but you know, seeing someone kind of breaking a camp and stuff, and then coming along and killing what's left was quite frustrating. But then later on in the day, I actually grouped with that person. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a funny old world. It's a funny old world. Um, the other thing, I'm trying to cover all the information so you've got information. Um, so let's talk about the financial side of things. So I worked out, I did write it down, I worked out that the, level, the spells I want at level 9, level 14 will cost 34 plat. Um, I've bought Spirit of Wolf already, which is 5 plat, so I need roughly 29 plat to buy my to buy almost the spells I want at 9, the spells I want at 14. Not all of the spells, but the ones that I feel are the most important. So I've got um, 39 plat left. Um, minus 29 leaves me currently with 10. Um, yeah, so I've I've kind of made a fair amount of plat. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I've probably made about 50 plat so far, getting to level seven. And it was really all down to the two quests that I've probably mentioned to you before. You know, the um, the lizard tails one and the lizard meat one um the two quests i showed i think probably in my first video they've been brilliant quests i'm not sure if there's any quests to turn in these snake fangs or snake eggs i might look into it. i don't think there is so i think probably gold may slow down a bit um but yeah but those but but um from a from a money point of view um uh what's it where are where were we where were we um yeah, from a financial point of view, just getting platinum and stuff. Um, I forgot the forgot the name of my home place. The Fearot is a great place. Those two ogre quests are really, really good. Um, yeah, I mean, I must have turned in a few hundred meat, I would say. 
Um, and, and the good thing about it is it's all come fairly naturally. I haven't had to go out of my way. I collected the meat while I was gaining experience, so I didn't have to go and farm anywhere particularly, um, you know, specifically to get that. You know, it was, it was, a, it was a, a natural thing. You know, it was an organic kind of process. Um, so, yeah, so uh, the ogre starting from a cash point of view is really good. I'm set up for spells and stuff. Um, I've got some money left over. Oh, hello. We don't want that. Um, yeah, and so the th I guess what I'm thinking about now is that there have been quite a lot of people selling... Um, oh, all the snakes are over here. I don't want to encroach on that guy's... Even though they're roaming mobs, I don't want to encroach on that guy's... Um, uh, little little patch too much uh yeah so now i'm thinking ahead and, and wondering like what what's next you know there's there, there are quite a lot of people selling um quite a lot of people selling uh banded mail and i know that um i know traditionally you know people look at it and say well banded mail is one of those things that that uh is a natural progression you know it's one of those things that you get next i'm i'm not so sure about it actually I guess, it, I guess going forward, it depends on how much uh, meleeing I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to see. I'm, I'm not sure if I if I just want to save my plat for a bit later on. Maybe save up for a couple of hit point rings or whatever it is that I can, I can get. Um, yeah, but banded would, would obviously be the next option. I might pick up the chest piece and maybe the leg piece because I think those two... I've just got the most AC, so maybe they just make the most sense. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm considering my next move with regards to uh, purchases. Now, now I'm kind of happy that I've got my spell, my spell money. So uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a few. Uh, I must, I must say, I think these roaming, uh, these roaming mobs are. Um, is that a tree snake? Yeah, these roaming mobs, I think, are the best ones at the moment. Oh, hello. There's a, is there something there? Skellington may be chasing someone. <laughs> to watch out for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I mean, camps are still quite camped. I mean, I've logged in this morning. I think there's about 950 people on, which is, a, which is a lot for me, considering when I was on Blue, even at its most crowded, when I, you know, times that I play, um, you're kind of looking at, well... 500 maybe max less than that 400 and something i would say so yeah so a lot of the camps are taken so i think these roam these randomly spawning roaming mobs um are th the best option at the moment i think um until things may be quieted down a bit if they do quieten down who knows um another tree snake over there yeah i think we're doing quite well at the moment we can just we're kind of not not chain pulling them and killing them but you know it's um it's pretty good. Apparently, also just some more information. Um, thanks again. I, I can't remember who it was, but um, apparently, um, one of the interesting things. I don't know. If, I think in the last video at the lizard camp, I was saying that. I don't know if I said that um, the increased spawn rate seems to be going out of whack. We thought there was something wrong because. You'd get, you'd get lizard after lizard, and then you'd get a period where nothing would spawn. And apparently, it's only mobs. Um, the information I got is only mobs um, level four uh, or below level five who are spawning um, faster. So any mob five or above is is a normal spawn time. And some of those some of those mobs were level five, so that was why there was a discrepancy in the spawn times. I appreciate that information. So you now know that as well. If you're just starting off, um, if you think the mob might be above level five, then it's probably not. That, that you know that that's why it's, it's maybe not spawning as quickly as you would like um, yeah and that's it for now I will come back and update you as things change during the day if anything happens I'll update that as well uh, yeah I'll speak to you well almost instantaneously it will be for you for me a bit longer hello guys welcome back and we've got meditate Finally, um, I think <laughs> I'm still not 100 percent sure. Um, maybe we can. Maybe it's something that someone can clear up. Um, you kind of that, that when when you uh, hello green 
Okay. When you, uh, I think the spider's probably green as well. Yeah, so I've got, I've got level eight um, over at the, uh, the snakes. Uh, quite a lot of them are greening out, so I've kind of moved. Got a little bar here. Um, some green mobs here, but this is, these are camps I normally use um, to get to level nine, but obviously <coughs> untwinked can only really deal with one camp at a time, uh, which is fine. Some of these are green as well, but I just clear them out. You always got the chance of getting a drop or something. But yeah, got Meditate, um, level 8. Not going to get level 9 today, obviously, but I think tomorrow that'll be our goal. So we've got some... Um, so I can I can run around fast. That's desperately what, I, um, desperately what I'm after. I, do, I love Spirit of Wolf, which is such a game changer. It just, uh, yeah, um, makes everything just that bit, that little bit simpler. Um, yeah, and that's it for this video. I just thought I would uh, end it just as I got uh, meditate. So yeah, there's a meditate button, uh, and I've kind of been trying to keep an eye on it to see if you actually need to press the meditate button or not. And I think I think, I think maybe you do. As you can see, I've got quite a big tick of, I've got quite a big tick of mana there. And another one. You see, those ticks seem to me that meditate is working without me having to press the button. Although I did lose a little bit there, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, when I click meditate, I'm not. I'm not convinced that I'm. The thing is, when you click, 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 meditate, you kind of get a tick. But I'm not convinced I'm getting any more, any more mana than I was before I click meditate. Maybe, possibly, I guess it's difficult to say. But I do seem to get um, skill raises with meditate press. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. So yes, level eight today. That's the end of this update. Tomorrow hopefully level nine and then onward and upward. Thanks for watching.